Look, look, look. So I got a dude I used to work with. His ass, he used to be a uh, CO, a correction officer. Man, his ass fucking, he was telling me like one of his first nights, fucking, he walking doing his rounds at night. He, he was on the night shift. He was a newer guy. He was working night shift. They got more money. So he's walking around doing his rounds. He hits the bathroom. Mm. That's the typical route, whatever. He go in the bathroom and hear exactly the sound you made. The, uh, uh, he, he hear that sound. He thought somebody, he thought somebody was getting jumped or he said, he finds out. You know what I'm saying? The next, he literally walked in there. He turned around. He left. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cold because if somebody's in there getting shanked or something, like you supposed to be the first one to help their ass out. But I, I mean, I get it. You probably not trying to get shanked too because I think they only get their ass like a baton or some shit. So they don't really got yeah, much they protecting got teams themselves. That come in to shoot or like yeah. with the uh, the non lethal shit you was talking about. Mm-hmm. Another team. Yeah, would say they don't in. really be having guns so or nothing like that. Getting, I think tasers maybe. They said they see it all the time. To- like from the stories they was telling, they was like there'd be times where like the guards would be looking in, seeing somebody getting stabbed up and just like. Hey, they that. they fighting in here. Yeah, they, can't. they know they're not going in there and break it up. Yeah. And I mean, if you see them videos on YouTube and back in the day, world start, they be having like swords and shit. Yeah, I don't know what in there either. Yeah, what? I'm leaving that shit alone. He said. He said the next day they found out somebody got raped, and he said, oh. he said "I'm be honest." He said. I'm kind of glad I didn't intervene. He said, because I could have been the one getting raped. I said, he said he quit after that shit. I said, damn, bro. I said he could have saved somebody wrong, bro. I ain't. How so? <laughs> well, he he would have went in there and had to fight the nigga. What if, if the nigga over... Uh, not the, I don't know what race he was. If the person overpowered the the dude enough to rape him, whether maybe yeah, he had true, a knife or true, he was just true. that type of real scary dude that you had to give up your, your rump for it. You mean to tell me y'all wanted Buddy to get in there and be like, hey, chill out. Like, hell no, nah, you would have got stabbed or beat up. <laughs> it's it's over with. I like that they were dogs locked up. It's over. Man, oh, man, I hate it for you. Let me go. If anything, it'll make me go back to my desk and go look up. What happened? What dude who actually who missing got, from their cell right now? Who was the person? I'm gonna make a report. <laughs> I'm gonna look up the victim, like his his record, and be like, "Oh, okay, then. Damn, man, you shouldn't have did what you did. Because if it was like a he did some light and just happened to be in jail, I'd be like, damn, man, huh. I know you didn't see this coming, but if you was like a real bad person, I'm like, hey, man, he coming now? Oh, it. <laughs> Made your bed. I That's like you, good. and I want you. <laughs> you made now your we bed, can do nigga. This the easy way. Now cuddle with me. Do the hard way. Ah, <laughs> uh, this shit logged up. But now nah, all I, the people that's in there wrongfully yeah. accused and yeah, all man, that, or in there for marijuana. If you freedom in there for marijuana, guys. Freedom, that's some guys. freedom guys.